Dr. Wood, author of the book Miracles and Minutes, and today's concept is about relationships in regards to a philosophy or a way of thinking that's caused a lot of problems uh, in the world today, and it's uh, it's doing for or doing with. So. <clears throat> What has transpired is this way of thinking of raising kids is what you do is you do everything for them. Uh, they want something, you give it to, to them. Uh, they get in trouble at school, you go and talk to the teacher for them. Um, anytime they're struggling with something, you, you go ahead and do it for them. So what you do is you give them everything they want so you never have to deal with conflict or confrontation and you just buy your way out of it. You know, like, oh, you know, how do I know my parents love me? Well, they buy me stuff, man. They buy me things. Well, <clears throat> so what's happened is we've produced um, a world with kids today who don't really know how to communicate, how to work together, work together, and work with others or actually relate. To relate means to talk, to express, to say. And so, so let's suppose your, your kids um, has homework and you do it for them. What you have is two people become less, okay? It's, it, you didn't relate, the, one, the kids on one side, you're on the other. You didn't grow together and doing it with them, but you did it for them. And um, that winds up consuming your time. So what's happened is society's, and, and it's, part of it is also the busyness of today's society. There's so many demands on parents. There's so little time. Um, you know, we have to go to a soccer game, we have to go to this, we have to go to that. All these obligations and all these demands is that we've made life so complicated and so busy that we're missing out on family and relationships and raising kids and having, a, you know, a good marriage or having a good relationship with our friends and others. There's too much busyness. Now, we still need to work but we need to make sure that the relationship's intact. So if we work on the relationship, a lot of other things work out really well. <clears throat> so it's doing things with someone. So, <clears throat> for example, um, I have three daughters and my oldest daughter, I'm very proud of her, she's uh, come a long way. And, um, you know, there was a philosophy, let's just say her and her mother, her mother and I disagreed. Um, you know, it was, she thought I should do everything for them. And if I'm not buying things for them and doing things for them and doing that for them or giving them my time on this and that, that I don't love my kids. And I'm like, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. So uh, my philosophy was, no, uh, I'm going to the strength that I have, the skills that I have of how to accomplish things in life of their basic needs. I will teach them how to do it for themselves and I'll do it by being with them and, and guiding and coaching them through the process. So at 20 years old, my oldest daughter has uh, in school full time, pays for her own apartment and bought herself a car in her own name at 20 years old and Acura. She bought it for herself, not daddy bought it for her. And the look on her face, <laughs> I mean, it was a mountaintop experience for both of us. She looked inside herself and, wow, look what I can do. And my job as a dad is to show her how beautiful she is on the inside. You are that wonderful. You can do so many things. Let me coach you or parent you and father you and love you in a way to help you see how wonderful you are. Not I do it for you, because then you never you never look inside the child the person never looks inside themselves see how wonderful they are. So I was in a relationship with this one girl, and uh, you know I guess all the men in her life every did everything for her, and all of a sudden now she's like I want a relationship, and they're like, uh, well first of all you're not talking with me, you're talking at me. Um, no one taught you how to make a request, um, and you're so used to being spoon fed. <sighs> hey, you know, I don't know how you're, we're going to relate here because it's, we're going to work together so we can do things together. We can be here without needing something from each other. You know, just can't we just enjoy each other's company? Um, but if I have to carry you all the time. So now, you know, th there's a struggle because to relate, to talk, to express yourself, to make known your feelings. What a, I'm feeling like this, you know, I have, I'm having a bad day. 
thank you for sharing that with me. At least now I can relate and I'm not trying to guess all the time of what's going through your head um, in this guessing game. Guessing games don't work. So I, you know, I have three daughters and I, I teach them, say, look, you express yourself. I would like you to share, 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 share it with me so we can relate. There may be conflict in the conflict or the, in the confrontation. This is why parents don't like doing it because conflict and confrontation takes time. In relationship, there will be conflict and confrontation. But in the confrontation, you learn how to grow together versus grow apart. Where the higher you're standing for, not who's right, but for what's right. What's the highest good for the person I love and care about? I want to be generous. I want to be selfless in this. I want to do something with you and do something for you so you can become better, so you can be better with me. I grow you up so you can be with me at the level of play that I can play so we can work together and if they go up the family goes up if they go up the family goes up if I do it for them eventually all my skills get pulled away and all my time gets pulled away and my generosity goes into an oh into an endless bucket of where the child or the person I love and care about doesn't become better they actually become bitter because they want more so to fill in the bucket, you do it with them and encourage them they can do it and you support them when they wanting to run away from their confrontation of facing themselves of stepping up to a higher game of life. But the team can only be good as me. So the better I am, the more I bring to the team. The better they are, the more they bring to the family. The better that uh, my partner is, the better they bring to our relationship. The better I am, the more I bring the relationship. So our relationship's growing over time. So for growing in relationship by relating with each other, sharing ourselves, our feelings, like I have good days, I have bad days. That's just the way it is. And in the good, there's also the bad. And in the bad, there's also the good. So this is Dr. Wood discussing the concept of with or doing for. Have a great day.